Queen Mothers in the Ashanti region say next month's local government and 2020 general election places a huge responsibility on interest groups for peaceful outcome. They warn any misconduct is a political threat, especially to women, children and other vulnerable persons. The traditional leaders are attending a workshop on conflict prevention and peace building in Kumase. Ahmed Teria has more. Considered mothers of the state, female traditional leaders are revered for their key roles in strengthening communal democracy. In many Akan Kachwa setup, they nominate potential chiefs and also adjudicate disputes and conflicts in the traditional courts. The Queen Mothers say they are concerned about troublemakers in every election. Nana Jacoma Diffie II is Queen Mother of Asante Mampong and leader of the group. I encourage everybody to exercise your franchise as a Ghanaian because that's what the constitution of Ghana says. But as to what you want to do, whether you want to vote yes or no, it's totally up to you because your, my views and your views might not be the same. But as a member of a commu my community and as a paramount queen mother, I encourage every Ghanaian to exercise his or her vote during the elections, whether it's a, a mem for the MMDC, the parliamentary or the presidential elections. Whichever way, they really need to go out in their numbers and cast their votes. Because that is their front, and that makes them who they are as Ghanaians. The National Peace Council and the Canada Fund for Local Initiatives are jointly organizing a two-day capacity-building workshop. Most Reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante is the chairman of the Peace Council. He says the inclusion of women and other marginalized groups in conflict prevention and management is crucial. Nananum, our beloved country cannot truly flourish if it stifles the potential of women and deprives itself the contribution of about half of its population. A nation desirous of development like ours should be twice as much desirous of empowering and including the marginalized, the vulnerable in the society. Gatherings like this establishes the sound avenue for us to become the agents of change to break the wheel and champion the cause of equipping women with the requisite expertise to enable them play role, lead roles in conflict issues. Reverend Asante's call is endorsed by the political counselor at the Canadian Embassy, Pasqua Savaju. We recognize the role that traditional leaders play, especially Queen Mothers, in the promotion and maintenance of peace in the communities. Also, Queen Mothers play an important role before, before during, and after elections in ensuring that there is a peaceful environment that remains. From Kumase for Joy News, Oimintiria reporting.